I'm going to show you how to install and manage multiple versions of Python on your Raspberry Pi. I'm using a tool called PyEnv. Here's the GitHub page. It's a pretty popular page with almost 26,000 stars and it's widely used. To install, I'm going to be using their pyev installer commands. It's easier than trying to follow the install commands on here and also it's less version specific. I will note, if you're trying to replicate this on a Windows computer, you have to use a different installer, but for Unix, Raspberry Pi, Mac, it all works. I'm going to access my Raspberry Pi right here, plugged in over SSH. Maybe you have it plugged into HDMI with keyboard and mouse, so you can just go right onto your Raspberry Pi, or if you're using VNC. Regardless, we want a terminal window, so in any case, get to the terminal of your Raspberry Pi however you're comfortable. SSH pi at raspberry pi, and then my password. Let's follow this first instruction I have here. This downloads and installs pyenv, but it doesn't add it to our path, which we need to do. Without it being in our path, we can't just say the command pyenv. We need to go into the directory, and it's just so much work. And we can add this to our bash rc, and then it's in our path. We can just say pyenv command. So to get into a bash rc, sudo nano squiggly dash dot bash rc. Go to the bottom of the page and just paste this text here. Control S to save, control X to exit. The bash rc is run every time the Raspberry Pi is reboot. So it hasn't run yet and it doesn't know that pyem is in our path. We need to restart our shell. To do that, we run the command exec dollar sign shell in all caps. Now I skipped ahead here, but we also need to install all these system packages. You're gonna find when you start using pyenv later, you'll get all these odd errors saying like, this package is missing, blah, 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 blah. And by installing them all now, we save some trouble in the future. And we already restarted the terminal as stated in number four. And now let's update pyenv. Py, pyenv, update. Okay, so we got pyenv up and running on its latest version. Now how do we install Python? We go pyenv install, and then we can do list and see what our options are. We got a bunch, Miniconda, Anaconda, all the regular Python versions back to 2.1.3. So all we gotta do is run pyenv install. I'm gonna do 3.7.12. Click enter, it's gonna take about 10 minutes, and then I'll see you when it's done. Once it's installed, we actually need to use the Python version. Right now, my Python version, Python dash capital V, you could also do Python dash dash version, is 3.9.2. So how do I make my 3.7.12 become my Python version? We got a few options. The first, is pyenv local. How this works is it sets the Python version of your folder to be whatever Python version you tell it to. So I'm going to make a folder. So now I have a folder temp. I'm going to change directories into temp, cd temp. And now Python version, it's 3.9.2. But then when I run the command pyenv local 3.7.12 and I do python dash v, that's now my Python version. If I go back out of the temp directory and do python dash version, it's 3.9.2. Option number two, pyenv shell. I just took a look at the readme and it looks like the pyenv shell is for advanced users who really know what they're doing with shell commands. So if anyone's interested in me doing a tutorial on that, let me know. Another one that you can use instead of pyenv local or pyenv shell is pyenv global, and that'll permanently set your Python distribution. So if I do pyenv global, it's gonna be Python 3.7.12, not 3.9.2. And then finally, to uninstall, say you installed it with me and you don't want it anymore, just these two commands. And that's it. You can have multiple Python versions. Do as many as you need. Install as many as you need. And then you can just pyenv global, pyenv local to switch around between different Python versions. 
no conflicts, no problems, no hassle. Let me know if there are any other tutorials you want me to do. I'm happy to do them. Subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.